If statements and lookups are very powerful on their own, but can be even more helpful when combined into one formula. In this lecture, we're going to build upon what you've learned so far about if statements and lookups to use them in conjunction with each other. Let's continue to use the same two lists of people as we were using in the last lecture. You might find that you want to do a similar VLOOKUP as we did in the last lecture to return the weight, but you only want a value returned for females. This is a perfect example of when it would be a good idea to do a combination of an IF statement and a VLOOKUP. To understand how you should start the formula, it's helpful to say what you want to do out loud. In this instance, you would say, if the person is female, I want to have their weight returned. Since we started our sentence with if, we'll also start the formula with the if statement. Remember, the formatting of our if statement should be equals if open parenthesis, what we want to test, comma, the value if the test is true, comma, the value if the test is false, close parenthesis. We know that our test is whether or not the person is a female. Then, if the person is a female, we want to use a VLOOKUP to return her weight, and if the person is not a female, then we'll return a value of not female. Now remember, the format of our VLOOKUP should be equals VLOOKUP open parenthesis the field you want matched comma the range that starts with the column containing the field you're matching and ends with the column that contains the field you want returned comma the count from the first column in the range to the column with the field you want returned comma, false, close parenthesis. In this case, we want to match the name and return the weight. Now let's type out the formula in Excel. We're going to start the formula with the if statement, and the test is whether or not the gender in column B is female. So we'll refer to B2 and say if it equals female, then if the test is true, we want to have the weight returned. This is the step in the process where we're going to insert the VLOOKUP into the IF statement. So you'll remember for the VLOOKUP, you start by typing VLOOKUP in open parenthesis, and we want to find a match for the name. So first we're going to refer to the name in column A, comma, then we'll set the range that starts with the column containing the field we want matched. In this case, it's column E with the name, and ends with the column containing the field we want returned, which in this case is column F. And then we'll select the entire list because we want the formula to scan through the selection in column E to find a match for the name, comma, two, since the weight that we want returned is the second in the range that we selected, comma, false, close parenthesis. And also you'll remember I suggested that we should add dollar signs before the E, the two, the F, and the four to make sure the range stays the same when we drag the formula down column C. Now, at the end of the VLOOKUP, we'll type comma, and now we're going to finish out the IF statement by typing the value we want returned if the IF statement test is false. And we specified that we want it to say not female. And then we're going to close parentheses again for the if statement. For cell C2, the formula returned not female, 
because as you can see in column B, Tony is a male. Now, if we drag the formula down the next two rows, you'll see that the formula returned the weight for Sue and for Morgan because the if statement was true since they are both female in column B. When typing out a formula like this, it's important to stay very focused on where you are in the formula. It's helpful to say the formula out loud, and then once you've used it a few times, it will become very natural to you. Combining if statements and VLOOKUPs or HLOOKUPs will be powerful when manipulating data in Excel. But don't feel limited to combining these two formulas. If you follow the same construct, you can combine many other formulas to use to your advantage as well. But if you close your eyes